Angels Den is the annual healthcare research competition presented by St. Michael's Hospital Foundation. The event shines a spotlight on pivotal health innovations while raising critical research funds. This year, eight teams of world-leading scientists are getting ready to pitch their game-changing research ideas to a panel of celebrity judges to win $500,000. Surgeons, scientists at St. Michael's Hospital and previous Angel Den, Angel's Den winner, Dr. Karen Cross, joins us now to tell us more. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Uh, thank you for being here. You're an Angel Den winner, but four years ago, it's been going on for nine years, and it's kind of like Dragon's Den for scientists. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah, <laughs> uh, it's tomorrow night. Uh, tomorrow night, uh, and you can stream it live at angelden.ca. Yeah. So, what are people going to see? What is what is this competition all about? Right. So, I think this is Canada's hottest pitch competition, <laughs> um, and tomorrow they're going to see really eight of the finest pitch uh, with some of the greatest ideas. The nice thing about the Angels Den is that scientists, physicians, surgeons, the people who are pitching, we really understand the medical system. So these are ideas that are actually going to make a great impact uh, for society and also for our health system. What was your pitch? Right, so uh, at the time, uh, I have a, a basic science lab that lives in the Keenan Research Center. Uh, we pitched our, our company, which is Mimosa Diagnostics. Mimosa is a small handheld tool uh, that people with diabetes can use to screen their lower extremity. And what people might not know about diabetes is they're high risk for a lower extremity amputation or wounds of their feet. This device is that early warning tool that people can use in their own home and get to their physician at the right time to try to save their limb and also save their life. This is amazing. Is it, this going to be affordable for somebody with diabetes to have in their home? Yeah, and so again, because I'm a physician in the space and I'm also a scientist, but I also have a personal story as it relates to a family member who lost their leg to diabetes. Yeah. We know that di people with diabetes struggle with the cost of taking care of themselves. And so with that aim, we also uh, aim to make the device as cheap as possible. Four years later, how's it going? You know, that first seed round of money to have that idea to take something out of your lab and bring it into a commercial environment was really the starting point and a launching point for a very successful uh, couple of years. Uh, right now, in the first two years of our funding, uh, we've been able to develop a commercially viable, uh, scalable device that you can put in your palm of your hand. Tomorrow, everyone's going to see it for the first time. Uh, secondly, we've been able to get our health regulatory clearance, and we're about to announce that as, as well on World Diabetes Day. So we have our FDA clearance right now as a device. Which World Diabetes Day is on Thursday. On Thursday. Uh, this is wonderful news. Uh, celebrity judges, uh, celebrities will be deciding whether you get the $500,000 for, for these next eight researchers? Yeah, so it's an exciting time and to, to present in front of celebrities, it certainly can be a somewhat uh, anxiety provoking, especially as perhaps a scientist and a surgeon, uh, we mainly, you know, we sit and we, we operate on people and we work in our lab, but I think the celebrity piece sometimes also adds a layer of anxiety. But I know everyone and I wish them uh, great success tomorrow. Um, in addition, there's also a tremendous amount of business expertise in the space and, and they'll have an opportunity to judge as well. Uh, so how can people see this? I know you'll have a live studio audience, but people have the opportunity to watch online. Yeah, so if they can, they can live stream. Uh, you can watch um, on angelden.ca. On, on angelsden.ca. Uh, Angel Thank you so much for Thank coming you. in uh, this morning. We're taking a break, and we'll see you when we come back.